In this video, you will learn how to create, sell and transfer an NFT on OpenSea. That is right, in this video, you will learn how to transfer a newly created NFT to another account entirely for free. Before we dive into this video, we have to make sure that we have MetaMask installed on our computer. So the first thing that we have to do is install MetaMask. So the first thing that we have to do is install a MetaMask wallet. A MetaMask wallet is going to give us access to the blockchain. It's extremely easy to install. We have to go to this link right here, download the wallet and this icon will appear on our browser. The wallet is available for any computer and any browser and it's accessible also via cell phone. Once you have downloaded and installed MetaMask, you'll have to set up your wallet. I have already set up mine, but it's extremely easy as just creating a new account. Just keep in mind that once you create a new account, uh, you will be given a secret phrase. Keep the secret phrase very secret because it's the only way that you will have to access your account. Now, once we have our wallet set up, now we can go to OpenSea and create, sell and transfer our NFTs. Once on OpenSea, the first thing that we have to do is log in via our MetaMask wallet. So this is a Web 3.0 application, therefore it uses a new innovative way of logging in. It uses your MetaMask wallet to log in inside of OpenSea. So I have just logged in with my newly created wallet and I have a zero balance. You can see here that my this is my address and it's the same address that I have just created. Now we are going to create an NFT. To create an NFT, we have to give the right to OpenSea to interact with our wallet. So we are going to sign this transaction. This is going to be an entirely free transaction. And all of the next steps that we are going to see are going to be entirely gas free and also meaning that you will have to spend zero on these transactions. So now it's time to create our NFT. I have previously used an AI algorithm to generate an image of AI image that right now I am going to sell as an NFT. First of all, we're going to create it as an NFT. So we're going to upload this picture that I have just created. We're going to give this picture a name and I will call it the same that I have used in this AI algorithm. So in this algorithm, we used a text sentence to generate these pictures. Now, if you want to generate your own pictures from these text sentences, I have left the link for you to follow down below. So let's add a name and let's also add an external link. All of the information that we see here for us to fill out is metadata that is going to be associated with our NFT. OpenSea does a great job at giving us the ability to create loads of different metadata to customize our NFT with all of the information that we could want. We could add properties, different properties to the NFT that we are creating, making it characteristics. So for example, I can add in the title and used by the AI algorithm and I could add this as a characteristic. We could also add levels, which are progress bars. So let's add an example of this. So I have added an iteration, which is a, a progress bar, just like this. We can also add a status that is a numerical trait that just shows a number. For example, we can add something like this, which is very similar to the progress bar, but it's just a representation of a number. Now we can also add unlockable content. This is a really cool feature. This allows us to unlock the content once the NFT is purchased. Once the NFT is purchased, the person that purchases it, or once it's transferred, the person will see this content that is unlocked. We can also add a configuration to make our NFT explicit or sensitive. A very important thing that we should do is change the blockchain to Polygon. Now Polygon is a layer 2 blockchain that lives on Ethereum. It is still on the Ethereum network, but you only will not have to pay any gas fees. That is pretty much everything we have to do to create an NFT. Once we're ready to create our NFT, we can create it. Now keep in mind that once our NFT is created and once we put it on sale, it will be unmutable, meaning that we will not be able to change any of this data that we have inserted. Therefore, it is always good practice that we double check and that we make sure that all of the data is correct. Now let's create our NFT. Perfect. Our NFT has been created. We can share it on different platforms, but what we are going to do right now is sell it. So let's sell our NFT. To sell our NFT, it's very simple. If we 
used the polygon blockchain we can do this operation for free now we can sell it only in ethereum on the polygon and we are going to input the amount of ethereum that we want to sell it for there is also other options for example we can reserve this sale for a specific buyer so if we enable this we can add in the address of the only buyer that can purchase this nft we can also set a duration for the sale of this nft we can make it uh, one day three days or one month once we have inserted everything that we need we are ready to complete our listing so this is what our nft is going to look like we can see that we also have an untitled collection but we're going to go about fixing that in a second now let's complete the listing to complete the listing we'll have to unlock a transaction with our account so we are going to sign this transaction once the transaction is signed and since we are using the polygon layer 2 ethereum network this transaction is going to be gas free it's not gas free because OpenSea is covering this transaction for us to incentivate us for using their platform now the last thing that we have to do is sign this transaction and we'll we'll put our nft for sale now perfect our nft is on sale now let's say we want to transfer this nft to another account right here we can see that this nft belongs to us if we click on this account you or meaning us we can see that this nft is ours now let's transfer this nft to another account this is extremely easy we would go to this nft and then we would click transfer now let's get another wallet that we want to transfer this nft to let's add the address right here and let's make sure always make sure that this address is correct because once you transfer your nft there is no way of getting it back unless that address holder decides to transfer it to you now there is one final step to complete and that is to verify that we want to transfer this nft and we do so we're going to sign the transaction with metamask and this is going to transfer our nft to another address so if you have created maybe many many different nfts and you wanted to share them with different accounts you can do it like this for zero gas now when i refresh this page i can see that this nft is not owned by me anymore it is owned by a different account also if i go back to my profile i don't see this nft anymore it has been successfully transferred if i log in with the other account and i go into my hidden on my profile i can see that i have received a new nft i have received this nft which is a robotic fantasy cat with funny dogs that is amazing we have successfully transferred this nft however there is one more little suggestion that i want to give you and that is how to change the collection of your nft to do that it is really simple if we are the owner of that collection and we are the ones that created that collection to on which all of those nfts belong to we can always edit that collection to edit it we'll have to click on it and then we have the ability to configure it and change it however we want now you have the ability to configure your collection however you want i suggest adding all of the fields like the image the feature image the banner image and name to your collection and also don't forget to change the link to your collection as well you can change it to any link as long as the url is still available you can also add any token or currency that is available such as dai usdc and rab for accepting payment or your nfts another important thing to add is a percentage for the creator earnings so here you can add your wallet address and a percentage of how much you will be getting from the secondary market once all of this is ready you are ready to submit the changes and change and rename your collection now once the connection is saved you can see that inside of this collection you have your nft that you have created however this nft does not belong to you anymore since we have transferred it it belongs to another address if you like nfts don't forget to join the nft trading contest that is going on right now on my discord channel if you're interested in the nft trading contest the winner will walk away with one month of youtube revenue from the nft champion now if this tingles your bells join the discord channel right now and let's get the nft roll on right now Thank you so much for watching nft champions i hope this video provided some value to you and it gave you an idea of how you can use for the best open sea how you can create sell transfer your nfts and how you can configure your collection so that it looks professional thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one